All right, friends and family, good morning. It is now moving day. It is just after seven in the morning. Um, Logan is still asleep, because he's only been sleeping for like five hours. He works a double tonight. So we're gonna try to let him sleep as late as possible. Um, yeah, Spotty is just excited for the day. All right, we are on our first cup of coffee for the day and the boys are loading everything and they're doing this so that we can't put the drawers in the dresser. <sighs> Logan and I have had a few conflicts over moving today. So I just kind of said, I'm gonna sit back and let you be in charge and probably should've listened to his sisters. He's not the best packer. He's not the best at Tetris. Kind of sad Sean hasn't spoken up, but we're Going with it. It is about five hours later and we're all moved, which is awesome and horrifying at the same time because everything is everywhere. Or you all butts hanging out. Just cover that up. But let me show you the situation that I'm currently in. Explore the apartment until it's a little bit more cleaned up and until Logan's here. Which means we got his water and his food in here, we got his carrier, and we got his litter box in the sewing room. And where is Logan. Logan is off at the urgency center. So if you don't know, the urgency center is like a walk-in clinic here. It's a little bit less than an emergency room, but like it still does emergency room things. And he is there because, oh, this is wonderful. Um, I'm also figuring out that I really need to go back to the other apartment for a few things. Um, unfortunately, Logan has had an issue with his like neck and shoulders for a little bit now. And he just overworked it today. So he called them to work, told them what happened, and they said go to the doctor. So now he's at the doctor, and we're just kind of waiting for him to get back because I don't really want to let Spotticus run around the house until Logan's back because I feel like that's something that he wants to see. So I'm currently in the sewing room with the cat. This was among, this is one of three injuries. Nate also hurt his back somehow, and he's claiming, swearing up and down that he didn't do it. And then Michaela sat on her car while Maddie was in it, said, like... Like he's escaped a little bit, so you should be like, uh, hi baby, you can come out now. Mom's not gonna yell at you this time. Well, good morning, you guys. It is the next day. Logan's sisters came over last night, um, cause Logan hurt himself. I was telling you the story about the two other injuries last time, I think. Oh, um, but after Logan got back from the doctor, he ended up not going to work at all. Um, he ended up not going to work at all because the doctor suggested just don't lift anything for a few days. So due to his job, we decided he really shouldn't go in and they were able to find someone. So he'll go in tonight at 1 a.m., but that's okay. And I just thought I'd come outside and I got the cat to come out with me and I don't think he knows what exactly is going on out here, but he's adorable. Um, he's taken this move a little bit harder than we thought he would. It might be because everything's still in boxes and whatnot. But he's getting a little bit more comfortable. He looked last night, so. If you don't know when cats kind of do something like this, we, I call it loafing, and they kind of just look like a loaf of bread, and it means that they feel safe because all of their paws are tucked under them so they can't really move quickly. Or at least that's my understanding of it. Mm. But yeah, so the plan for today is just kind of get everything in a room, kind of. 
we have dinner tonight with Logan's family since his brother is in town. Um, but yeah, just kind of start the unpacking process and whatnot. We did get the living room kind of set up. All the furniture right now is kind of like, okay, this is kind of where it might be, but it kind of might not be. So, we're just going with it. We're just going with it. I have work tomorrow and Tuesday, but beyond that, oh. But beyond that, I am off for the week, so we're hoping that we can get internet out here really quickly. Because that's Logan's job for tomorrow, and I might try to contact them today. Yeah, that's kind of where we are right now. I'm really happy that was the best night's sleep I've gotten in a little while, and I'm not sure if it was because I had alcohol or because I feel safer. I don't know, but so far so good. These apartments, you can kind of hear what people are saying though, so that makes me nervous. Yeah, hi baby. I'm proud of myself. I got this area cleaned up a little bit. The cat stuff is still in here. We have his food, his water, his carrier, and his litter box all in here right now. Just because the dining room, where this is all probably going to go, is an absolute mess right now. So we just thought we'd set him up a little area in here, and he's doing good with it. Yeah. We gotta get him a mat for under his litter box, though, because... Even our dining room is carpet. I want to get a rug for it. But not right now because we don't have a ton of money and we kind of want everything to settle down a little bit. Um, Because we probably aren't going to get a table until after COVID is a little bit better. So it'll be a few weeks, but that's okay. We got 52 weeks to live here. We can wait one or two. But I am really happy with getting a little bit of space cleared up in that room. It helped a lot, if you don't know. I'll look, I showed you guys what our living room looks like. It's very, very nice. I found a thing, this thing, and I want to put it out on this patio because the cat likes watching people. He likes to make friends, so I think I might buy that. But for right now, I'm gonna work on this. And this is all of this. So it's opening boxes, seeing what's in them, seeing what my cat is up to and going from there. 